Take a seat, take a seat. Assalamualaikum and hi, welcome back with me, Muhammad Haikal, as your host for Coffee O'Clock episode for, for this season. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to share to all of you what the three units study methods that is actually work for us, especially our as a student. We know that our final examination is around the corner, so we would like to propose all of these three uh, methods. How no, this kind of three methods could help you in your study for the final examination and ascension. So today we'd like to discuss or share to all of you about the three study methods that actually would. What kind of study methods is that? Okay, so the first one is actively recall study method. Active recall study method is an evidence-based study technique that involves actively retrieving information from memory rather than simply reviewing or rereading material passively. This means that instead of simply rereading notes or textbook chapter, you actively try to recall and reproduce the information from memory. This technique has been shown to be more effective for long-term retention of inform information compared to passive studying. So passive studying in other hand involves simply reading or reviewing material without actively engaging with it. This may include reading notes, textbook or other materials without attempting to recall or reproduce the information. While passive studying can be helpful for gaining initial exposure to material, it is generally less effective for long-term retention and recall of information than active recall. So, um, what is the other study method that actually work? Okay, the, the, the second study method that actually work is doodling study method. In some research, evidence suggests that when people visualize doodles or figures on board or paper or something that can you write or uh, attach, um, can some do something with that kind of things, it helps their concentration and allows them to think about different perspectives by letting their mind wander. So allowing doodling in the classroom and take it up while teaching help students uh, to retain and recall information. I give you an example, okay? In the classroom, okay? The classroom, while you listen to the uh, lecturer giving uh, lecture you, so what you can do is uh, while listening to the lecture, you can do the, you can write something just like just doing some scratching and the, and at the same time you still listen to the teacher. That is what we call as a tutoring study method. All right. The last study method uh, that we want to propose is the Finman technique. Have you heard about Finman? Who is Finman? I know all of you uh, even not know where is Finman. Finman is actually physician. Okay. So the Finman technique, uh, this kind of technique is proposed by Finman itself. So actually, the Finman technique um, is a four step. Uh, it's a four-step technique that uh, that originally used by by noted American Nobel laureate, which is that I have said just now, which is Richard Feynman. So the main idea behind the technique is to take something that's hard to understand and try to clarify in your mind by explaining it as if you were talking to a child. In doing this, the learner is compelled to simplify the ideas in their mind and use clear and concise language. The larger idea then become simple to understand, okay? So the other key element of the, the, the teaching method of learning is to help identify where gaps in the knowledge uh, are. So when one thinks of a concept purely uh, in their own mind, their perception of their understanding is usually fairly work. So we get in our minds, but when it comes to the detail, it's hard to know what exactly we are missing. So the best way to reveal those missing details is to try and explain them to someone who doesn't know their idea, like a child, of course. So when you are explaining something out loud, suddenly, the things you are unclear about yourself become unbuildingly noticeable. So it accents its way of taking nebulous and incoherent thoughts and then quantifying just how much you really caps about it yourself. Brother and sister, I think that's all from uh, for this episode this time. So I hope that all of you can actually review or actually uh, know and choose what study method that actually work for you. I think that's all from our all from our coffee o'clock for this episode. Take a seat, take a seat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.